one of the good question and it's an integer based question greatest integer based question greatest integer uh, brief idea i'm giving to all of you if you are not knowing greatest integer means integral part whenever any number line any number suppose if i say this is 0 this is the 1 this is the 2 so greatest integer of integer is the same answer means greatest integer of 0 will be 0 greatest integer of 0 will be 0 greatest integer of 1 will be 1 so on and if it's not integer any other number suppose this number i'm taking let's say this number is the anything a to greatest integer of a will be 0 left side integer if this is the b to greatest integer of b will be 1 left side integer is 1 this left side integer if it's not integer then left side integer otherwise same answer did you understand simple logic there is nothing great about it suppose i say what is the greatest integer of minus 2.3 the first decide minus 2.3 is between where to minus 2.3 will be between minus 3 and minus 2 here somewhere am i right not here, exactly here this will be more closer to this but this greatest integer will be left side integer so this will be minus 3 so generally i see children do mistake and they say minus 2 it's not minus 2 it's left side integer to minus 2.3 left side integer is the minus 2 minus 3 the answer will be minus 3 right i hope everybody able to understand so this point is clear now what they are saying first manually try to do then we'll try to develop the method first manually they are saying that you find all positive integral of x for which this is equal to this so let's start the first thing is that key x is positive so under any circumstances this quantity will be right side of 0 this quantity will be right side of 0. This is also right side of 0. Both are right side of 0. So negative cannot be happen. And they are only integers. Am I right? So first possible value is what? Ki greatest integer x by 99 equal to greatest integer of x by 101. And both are 0. Both are 0. Let's see when it will be 0. For that you have to understand one simple point. What simple point? If I say greatest integer x equal to n, so that means x is lying between n and n plus 1. But just now I told you, the left side integer, if greatest integer x is n, this is the two consecutive integer, so it means x will be here, here, anywhere it can be, anywhere, but it cannot be n plus 1, n it can be, that's why I wrote like this, correct? So this indicate ki x by 99 will lie between 0 to 1 and 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 x by 101 lie between 0 to 1 this will give you x lie between 0 to 99 0 to 99 and this will say x will lie between 0 to 101 both has to be true because both this is and this is both has to be true x is 0 to 99, x is 0 to 101. So tell me what is the common value between them? You will say very simple, sir, 0 to 99 only. Because if you put this, this will be happy as well as this will be happy. But if you put take this one, this will not be happy. Common value. Now, x is between 0 to 99. That means which I can because x is integer only, so I can write 0 to 98 equal sign. It means, what is the possible value of x from here? 0, 1, 2, so on till 98. Right? Integer, all possible integer we have to calculate. No? All possible. x is the infinite value between 0 to 98. But we need only integral value. So integral value this many. But there is the problem. They mention that key, it should be positive integer. If it is positive integer, so this is 0, bye bye. This 0, bye bye. And this will be equal to the means number of element will be equal to how much? 1 to 98 means 98. I'm sure everybody able to understand. But this way doing is the dangerous. Right? right now I taken 0 and it. I will take 1 and 2, then 2 till when? It's endless. This First step doing manually is very important because that will give clarity to you. That is going to give you clarity. But we need to get general thing. I am assuming let 
getash near x by 99 is equal to getash near of x by 101 is equal to n. n is some integer, positive integer. n is some positive integer. n is some positive integer. Right? n is some positive integer. Why positive integer? And a 0 we already calculated. Na? Why unnecessary create trouble? Positive integer. Means n can be 1, 2, 3, 4, so on. And that n I want to know. Ki what is the maximum n it can go? Chali bhai. If this is n, to x by 99 will lie between n and n plus 1. And x by 101 will lie between n and n plus 1. Which indicate x lie between 99n to 99n plus 99 and this will indicate x will be greater than equal to 101n to 101n plus 101 common value remember common value whenever two interval you are taking an interval is something like this so second interval first left condition and right first interval this one this is the common value so think carefully so from here the common value will be what x greater than equal to this value, second interval, this value, 101 n and this one, less than 99 n plus 99. I am sure able to understand. Clear, clear. Achha. X is integer. Less than this, this is the integer. Less than this. So why not we can write this simply 101 n to 99 n n plus 98. I do not understand, know that ki all of you understood this line or not. Equal. Anyway, if suppose I say x is integer. x is between 2 and 10. So this I can write simply x is between 2 and 9. Equal. Both side equal. Wait. Between 9.5 x cannot be happen. No. So less than 10. 10 also cannot be happen. So for right, rightmost value will be what? 9. That's what I did. Easy calculation. Now, how many integers are there? Think. Now, this says what? X is between 101n to 102n. Oh, sorry, 101n plus 1. And so on till 99n plus 98. If anybody asking you, how many integers are there? So, remember, whenever X is lying between two integer i1 and i2 the number of integer will be what i2 minus i1 plus 1 it's just counting nothing else so here number of integers number of integers will be 99 n plus 98 minus 101 n means 98 minus minus uh, 2 n plus 1 means that will be n will be equal to 99 minus 2n. Be clear. n start from 1. I know lower limit. This many. I know lower limit. n can be 1, can be 2, can be 3, can be 4, can be 5. But till where? For that very easy. n is natural number. Capital N. To 99 minus 2n must be greater than equal to 0. Yes or no? That must be greater than equal to 0. So, we will say 2n must be less than equal to 99 by 2. And 99 by 2 means what? Approximately 49 point something. But n is integer. n is integer. So, that means what it says. Ki n maximum value can be happen 49. So, here we can say n will be between 1 to 49. 1 to 49. I don't know you understood or not n equal to 0 case I already calculated that is the 98 that is already there that's already there be clear n equal to 0 case I am not doing n equal to 0 manually we calculate it so we will start from 1 to 49 finish question so numbers total this is the total numbers means this is not that n this is you can call it uh, something else uh, you can call it numbers numbers this is not n is total number. So, total number will be what? 
put n equal to 1, put n equal to 2, put n equal to 3, put n equal to 4. n equal to 1, if you put the how many numbers will come? 97 numbers, 97 integers. n equal to 2, you'll put then how uh, uh, how many is going to come? It, that's going to be, I think, uh, 99 minus 4, 95 will come. Like that will be value. Now, so how we have to add all those. n equal to 1, put it and add, get the value. n equal to 2, put it, get the value. n equal to 3, put it, get the value. Did you understand? So total, if you have to get, just apply sigma. Sigma n equal to 1 to 49, 99 minus 12. Correct? So that will be equal to sigma n equal to 1 to 49, 99 minus 2 into sigma n, n equal to 1 to 49. This means adding 49, 99 by 49 times. So that will become 49 into 99 minus 2 into n into n plus 1 by 2 means 49 into 50 by 2 sum of n natural number 2 cancel and 49 common so 49 into 49 is going to come i hope everybody able to understand 49 into 49 will be equal to uh, i will use calculator way 49 into 49 240, 2401. But be clear, this is not final answer. Why? Because one more chunku is there. 98 number, which we did not, we started from n equal to 1, but n equal to 0 can be happen. If n equal to 0, it doesn't mean x is 0. x can be this possible value. See, if x equal to 1, you will put this will become 0, this will be also 0. x equal to 2, this is 0, this is 0. So this also we have to correct. So 98 number is still waiting. So total, Final n, let's call it n1, n1, n1. Final n will be equal to n1 plus the manually which we did, 98. So that will be equal to 2499. The last two digit off. Two digit off. n equal to 99. I'm sure everybody able to understand the point. Some point I assume that you are knowing that is sum of n natural number. Everybody understood this point or not? The way this is saying how many x values are there for n. So n equal to 1, there is the 97x value. You can manually you can do after this video, you can do this manually. X put equal to both equal to 1, so you will get 97 value n equal to 2, you will put it here, you will get 95 values. n equal to 3, you will put, so you will get some other 93 value and so on. But we can go maximum up to 49 because this should not be negative, it's a numbers. Numbers cannot be negative. The maximum 49 we can, so n equal to 49, n equal to 49, so 99 minus 98 means only one x will be there for which both will be 49. Both cannot be 50. Both cannot be 51. It's a impossible. Right? So it's a good question. Uh, we learn a lot of things into this. Let's see in the next question. Thank you.